Hi, I'm Will Merrick, and I'm going to show you how to convert your tripod to a Steadicam using my method. You can also convert it back into a tripod whenever you want to use it. You'll need, of course, your tripod, whichever one you have at the moment should do, and a screwdriver, probably a cross point. Now you'll notice looking at your tripod that there's a attachment shown here that attaches the legs to the centerpiece of the tripod. You're going to want to find the screw right there and unscrew it. Once you've done this, you'll notice that the attachment comes loose from the leg and will pivot freely when you move it, as shown. You can also move the leg at a wide variety of angles, much more than you could before. The first thing you're going to want to do is replace that screw so that you don't lose it. If you lose it, you'll have a very hard time changing your tripod back to a tripod. It should look about like this right now. Notice all you've done is just unscrew that leg. Now you're going to want to open this, um, this grip right here. I don't know what it's called. And it'll allow you to tilt the tripod head. You're going to want to tilt it 90 degrees. You'll see why in a minute. That's where the camera is going to be attached. Make sure to tighten it back. Lift the tripod extension thingy all the way up. You can always shorten it later, but for now, let's just do it all the way up. Tighten it. If you don't tighten everything in this steady cam, you could hurt your camera. So it's about finished right here. This is this is just it right there. Now lay it on the ground and attach your camera. I don't, won't be attaching my camera since I need it to film this video. You'll want that leg that is freely pivoting facing up and down in proportion to your tripod head. Notice mine just needs a little bit of adjusting there. Yours may need turning as much as 180 degrees. That's where your camera is going to be and you're going to lift it up by the free leg and that free leg is going to pivot and balance the tripod. Now you're going to need to balance it by attaching your camera and then extending the tripod legs as far as um, they need to go to offset the weight of the camera. You could even add markings to make them easy to adjust if you want to. I'm just playing it by ear right now. And also notice that little attachment we found earlier? It's great for tilting the camera up or down or side to side depending on how you attach the camera. It adds a little extra control and of course the big leg is what you'll be using to balance it. Now your final thing should look something like this. Let's attach the camera and have a look. This demonstration shot won't be that great since I was focusing more on making this instructional video at the time than getting a good shot. Um, but let's have a look anyway. You can see some better ones at the beginning of this video and later on toward the end. But it, you know, I move it around a little bit, go around a tree. Okay, you can notice I'm tilting the camera using that back leg. You can also use it to hold it level. You can also attach the camera facing straight forward and backwards, which is great if you want to follow someone's feet down a hallway or up the steps where you don't have enough horizontal space for a full um, sideways steady cam. And I actually think this version keeps the steady cam a little more smooth. Um, you don't notice the, the, si the circular shaking as much as you do the back and forth shaking. And I'm tilting it up and down using that control once again.